Sorry, I'm late. Did you get lost taking public transportation because Daddy didn't send you to school? Alright class, so I'm pretty sure Mrs. Ragnar has mentioned to you about the final assessment last week. Yeah, what was that all about? It was never mentioned in the class details, it's not fair. Public speaking. Basically, it's a skill that is useful not just for your work, but also for your daily life. So, shall we get started? I came prepared with cue cards. If you guys don't mind, I'll be reading off from them. Hi guys, my name is Zoe. My dream job is to become a botanist as I love flowers. Make eye contact with the audience to capture attention. Laugh by yourself. <laughs> Stop laughing. When it comes down to my work, it's pretty boring really. It just comes down to numbers and numbers and numbers and even like, all, all these numbers just eventually get, get you crazy, right? But the main point is, I crunch all these numbers and then I push it over to some other department. But no! This is where you go back home to find your naggy wife and whatever that you think that you are doing is just bad, it's just wrong. You go to the toilet and you think that, yeah, it's all chill and all, but... It's... Jack, Jack, <laughs> I think you should calm your hands down a little bit. I'll try. So today, I'll be giving a short speech on how I became a teacher. Now, it all started when I was a young boy with the hopes and dreams of having a career in education. And it was all because of my father. He was the head of the department. So today, I stand before you all as a teacher. Uh, you mean PE teacher? <laughs> of course, you know, not all teachers are the same, right? Uh, I too want to be head of department. Maybe not today. But someday, I, Mr. Freaking. Okay, Alright, Mr. Dan, I think that's enough. Next, please. So, today I want to talk about something incredibly important to me. My family. My father, whom you all know as Robert, is someone who has sacrificed a lot for the family. And of course, not forgetting, my son Cam. My pride and joy. I know things are not the best right now. And you have a hard time opening up to me. But that's okay. I'll always be here for you, just like my dad was for me. Oh, like that time, he brought the whole family out for dinner when he earned his first paycheck. But that was once, like, three years ago. How many times must I mention you have to give back to your parents? That I, I was interning, I barely got paid. It's not about how much you give us, it's the principle. <sighs> Sometimes I miss when he was just a little kid, when all we had to worry about was making sure he doesn't wet the bed. That, that's TMI, too, too much information. <laughs> Alright, I know that the last few people were a little boring, but this time, it's me! Okay, okay, okay. Why not we do some warming up activities to get everyone awake? At a count of three, when I say woo, you say what? Woo? What? 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 I mean, you told us to say what? Uh, no, you're supposed to reply with what comes after woo. Like, three, two, one, woohoo! too early for this, but it's 9pm. Why not we try something else? So, everyone get up, alright? Chelsea, what are you doing? Oh, don't worry me, Shirley. This is how I get myself pumped at my spin classes. Everybody start running on the spot. Come on now. Keep your knees up. That's it. Faster, faster. Robert, don't slow down. No, I need to have a breather. Bad. Let's get going. Who's next? Who's next? Jess? Are you ready? Yeah, I, I guess I am. Great, then you can just do your switch from there. Maybe I can do it about my my family. I I have a, a, a mother. I have I have a, a brother. Jess, is everything okay? You're turning pale. I'm okay. I just have a little stage fright. Hey Jess, don't worry about it, alright? We are all friends here. Okay, you can just breathe and calm down. Yeah, and maybe try to smile a bit more. That always helps. Thanks guys, I'll, I'll try. Alright, let's see who's next. Ah, we have James. James? What? Kevin, what are you doing here? I don't know, but I'm getting paid really well to do this. For what? Hi, I'm James Ng, and I'm the founder and CFO of Q&Q &Q Holdings. And today, 
I'll be sharing with you my personal struggles with family. Thanks, Kevin. I'll transfer you the money later. I started my career as a manager in a local startup company. In two short years, I was promoted to director. And now, we are one of the top companies in the country. You may think to yourself, he's got everything. What more does he want? I don't want anything else. I just want my family. The love of my life suddenly became someone I didn't know. She became controlling, resentful of the perfect life I had given her. Objection! Sut Bing? What are you doing here? To defend my name, of course. From what? I didn't even lie about us. Objection hearsay! It doesn't even make sense. Objection witness is incompetent. You're the one who ruined our marriage. Was I the one that decided to see other people while still married? Oh please, that's not true. Need I remind you of a certain... Millie? She's just a friend. Do you hug and kiss all your friends? I think my work here is done. I've already pre-recorded my speech, so I'm just gonna play it or whatever. Welcome to my public speaking presentation. In today's speech, I will be sharing seven amazing facts about polar bears. Fact number one, polar bears okay, are- Okay, sorry Cameron. How is this supposed to be considered your speech? I mean, you're supposed to talk to the class. Well, surely I think it's basically the same thing, right? Not really, you're supposed to like physically talk. Okay. Welcome to my public speaking presentation. This is not what I meant. But surely, I'm just doing my speech, but with the power of technology. Okay, if that's the case, then can you answer a question too? Bet, for sure. Okay, what is the average? The average size of a polar bear is about 7 to 8 feet long. Okay, no. Let me ask another question, okay? What is the average the lifespan? The average lifespan of a polar bear is 50 years. How is this possible? Like and yes, Miss Shirley, it is weird that your mother looks your age. Huh? <laughs> Hi, everybody. So today, I would just like to share about myself. I was born in the year 1947. Now, when I was a child, I had two best friends. My first friend was called... Oh, no. <sighs> I think my memory is frogging. I think it was Jeff. Robert, maybe? Don't interrupt me. I almost can remember the name. You make me forget. You know what? I think we can just move along the story. You know, like maybe it's not so important for us to know his name. How could you say that about Jeremy? He's my bestest friend. And did I mention that he gave me this kidney? What? I think I have to start all over again. Hi, everybody. I was born in the year 1947. Or was it 1946? Actually, this is my first time speaking English in front of so many people. Oh, that's okay. Just talk about what you know best. You own a restaurant, right? Yes, yes, my restaurant. From my mother, father, from Vietnam. Once I take over, the business go boom. Oh. So how's your restaurant doing nowadays? Your restaurant? Hopefully doing very bad. What? I don't own a restaurant. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your restaurant. Next to my restaurant. And then take all of my customer. Wait, hold on. So you're telling me that on the same street, there is a my restaurant and a your restaurant? What's next? A we restaurant? Yes, yes, we restaurant. Sorry, wait, what? So uh, we, we? What, what do they sell? No! Oh my god, look! Escape to pay, Fonse, Tamapel, my. Oh, oh that's, that's a wee restaurant. Wee oui, wee! Oui. Next would be me. I know I may seem a little fierce at times, but I'm actually quite the comedian myself. Maybe that's why my daughter is such a joker too. <laughs> I would like to share some jokes But please don't feel any pressure to laugh if it's not funny So for the first joke, I would need a volunteer, anyone? Cameron, what about you? Why didn't you volunteer? Oh, uh, uh, I don't think so I, I don't have a great sense of humor I'll just, I'll just ruin it for you Now, knock knock uh, Who's there? Ooh Who? Now calm down, it's just a joke, silly. Don't need to get so excited. 
<laughs> that was a funny one, right, guys? <laughs> right? Come on, some help. A little help, please. See? I can be pretty funny when I want to be. We're just left with you, Annabelle. Are you ready? Um, yeah, so I haven't really prepared anything, so can we all just go home? I mean, it's been a really long day. I mean, everyone's had a try, right? It's just so much effort. I mean, like, all of this and a final assessment, just for some certification that probably doesn't even mean that much. Hey, it means something to some of us here. Yeah, I mean, some of us really need this, you know. As a dad, we just want our kids to work hard and have a future for themselves. Yeah, if you're here to just get back daddy's credit card, why don't you go home and ask him for it? You probably wouldn't understand that since you were born with a silver spoon. Everyone, just calm down, okay? I think we all have a purpose in this night class. And we're all here together, so let's just get through this. No. What? You're right. And all of you are right. I don't need to be here. Annabelle, wait! You're still coming back for the next lesson, right? No, I... I don't belong here. They're right. I'm just a sport brat who doesn't even actually need to be here. You have a purpose here. We all do. To you, maybe your dad forced you to be here. But you have a goal too, right? Maybe you want to start a nail salon. But wherever it is, it might not seem worth it now. But it will be in the end. Why do you even care so much? Because we are friends. And that's what friends do. When times are tough, we are here for each other. I'm sorry, but it's not worth it, Jess. Is everything okay? That's alright. I'm sure she'll be back. Anyway, before I let you guys off for today, let me just brief you guys quickly about the final assessment. It will be a group presentation and it will be about the things that you have learned in the night class. The first group will be Cameron, Michael and Robin. <gasps> That's great, son. We get to do this together. <laughs> the second group will be Dan, Zoe and Sally. And then third group will be James, Chelsea and Jack. And lastly, it's supposed to be Jess, Annabelle and Mai, but unfortunately, I think you two have to work this out. Anyway, if there's no further questions, I guess that's the end of the class. Thank you, class. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Oh, isn't that my lovely daughter, Annabelle? You didn't tell me you are coming today. So what's the occasions? I want to talk to you about something. I don't think that night school is for me. It's not that I mind taking the classes, but it's just the people there. They're all so judgmental. Can't say I didn't see this coming. But we have an agreement, Annabelle. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, the reports that you have requested for. Let me know if you have any feedback and I'll make changes. Thank you, Sukha. Look at your sister. Reliable, capable and dependable. These are the kind of traits that I wanted my own blood and flesh to have. How am I going to entrust you with my company? You can't even complete a simple course. It's not like I didn't even try, Dad. Try? You call that trying? Forget it. Take it. I know you couldn't make it. This is not what I want. All I wanted, all I needed, was for you to understand what I'm going through. 